Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today we're taking a look at some of the great new features of After Effects CS5. One of the ones that's sort of flying under the hood is the 64-bit enhancements. Now, depending upon what level of geek you are, that may mean a lot or very little. Here it is in plain English. The cool thing about 64-bit is that it allows After Effects to address more RAM. So, you're going to need a 64-bit operating system, and that's going to mean that you're going to want to take advantage of things like Vista 64-bit, or better yet, Windows 7 64-bit, and of course, Snow Leopard on the Mac. Once you've upgraded that OS, it's going to let you do more simultaneous tasks at once. The big ingredient here, though, is going to be RAM. So chances are you've been flying by with a reasonable amount of RAM. This particular computer I'm using here only has four gigs. Well, in the modern computing world, you're going to want to stack that up. RAM used to be terribly expensive. I remember the first computer that I actually bought for my very first design company. We spent thousands of dollars just to get about 512 megabytes of RAM. The RAM was as expensive as the computer. Well, this day and age, you don't have that problem. How much RAM do you need? Well, it depends upon the number of processors. So, if you are using a multiprocessor machine, in this case we've got a dual core, you can have up to three gigabytes of RAM assigned per core. So, if you're on a four core, an eight core, or a 12 core machine, that can mean a lot of RAM. And it might sound strange, but After Effects can actually use that much more RAM. Speeding up processing, allowing you to rely upon RAM for previews instead of having to cache files to disk, and it's just going to be a much more pleasant experience for you. If you're in After Effects, you can go ahead and go to your preferences and choose memory and multiprocessing. And this allows you to take how much RAM is installed and adjust how much you're going to allow other applications to use. Now there's going to be a minimum that you could put in there, but that's going to allow you to free up more memory for After Effects. And as you see here, you could put in the number, and if I had more RAM, I could assign more RAM down here, and that's going to allow it to work with other apps within Creative Suite. So that's going to be really smart as it shares it between After Effects, Premiere, Encore, and the Media Encoder. The other thing that's really cool now is that you've got greater control over multiprocessing. So this particular machine has two CPUs. You could decide to reserve certain CPUs for other tasks. So maybe you're designing in After Effects, but you're running a compression job in the background. If you've got a multi-core machine with a lot of cores, you could split those between After Effects and Premiere, or After Effects and Encore, or Media Encoder. Do whatever you need to really get the job done at the speed you want. You'll also find that you could assign additional RAM for use in the background. So if you need to, you could change that amount, and that will go ahead and reserve how much background memory is set aside for other apps. Now, you're going to find a lot more details about tweaking After Effects settings in the help menu for After Effects, but I wanted to point out, don't just run out and get the After Effects CS5 upgrade. Get the upgrade and invest in some more memory. And remember, we've got great support forums here over at Creative Cow, so you could drop into the After Effects forums or the Premiere Pro forums and check out other people and what sort of things they're doing to really tweak and optimize their systems for 64-bit with more beefy RAM to get the job done. Be sure to stick around Creative Kyle. We've got a ton more training coming your way as part of the Master Series. My name's Rich Harrington, and thanks for checking this out.